This episode of Blue Canoe is sponsored by Cue Ball Derby. Love many, trust few. Get down to Cue Ball and pick up a cue. Just hoping that we can bring it home. Because if not, this interview when it comes out in a few weeks will look <laughs> terrible. That's <laughs> I've lost. I'll be like, bud, do not post that. Hey, mate. <laughs> I'll be honest, I probably won't. <laughs> My name's Aaron Lodge. Most people know me as Bodge. I'm sat here with Kurt, Morgaz and Morgan. And uh, it's Friday afternoon, we're, out. we're flying up to Aberdeen this evening so that you can play against Chris Ross in the rematch of your, your money game. It yeah. happened about three months ago. First of all, how are you? Good, mate. Looking forward to it. It should be a good weekend. Mate. Yeah. I've just been looking forward to it for a few months, haven't we, to be fair? Yeah, it's been like four or five months. Yeah. As soon as you won in the first game when they came down here, it's been a case of, right lads, when are we planning this trip? And and this yeah. is actually the day, isn't it? To so. be fair, mate, um, I'm just hoping that practice has gone well, so hopefully I can put a, put a decent performance in and bring the, bring the bacon home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first person to be sponsored by Blue Canoe. Yeah, You're going to be wearing that during your match tomorrow. You've got a three o'clock start, first to 21. You're actually starting on minus two. Yeah. You were quite successful in the first game and and to secure the contract for us to go up to Aberdeen, that was one of the little carrots yeah, yeah. that you dangled. Yeah, a little um, head start for him. It's only two frames in yeah, it. Yeah, so. <laughs> should be <laughs> over by six, shouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, I don't know about that. Nah, I'm it, was a long, it was a long day, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get it done in. It was quite, it was quite a... Um, quite a, a solid victory last time there wasn't too many problems caused but there was points put on the board by him did it finish 21 15 21 16 yeah obviously yeah. so i don't know something just didn't feel right and it struggled so i had to sort of put bring the b game in yeah. mate and just, yeah yeah and that's just, it uh, that's it and just get over the line which luckily i did yeah. and then that because of the way i played to be fair led to me getting the game with wayne um Seeing me obviously playing awful, wanted to wanted to play for 10k, and then obviously I've pumped him 21-4. Yeah. So playing bad has actually led me to to get in. Um, that tips won you a little bit of money, hasn't it? Yeah. In the actually, long run. Yeah. Have you done much in the preparation for going to Aberdeen? Into it's a table you've never played on before. Obviously a place that you've never been. Is there anything you do differently in the in the build up rather than it being a home leg? Yeah, I mean most of the times the general pool table is a supreme pool table. All these ones that you can see in here, but um, the one in in Scotland it's called Blackball Elite Table. So they're built completely different. The bags are so different. The cushions react differently. So there's a lad in Burton who's just opened a club and I've managed. To, to go down a couple of times there and play on that table. They're You've not really scattered out a black ball elite, basically. Yeah, I mean, it's, this one's slight, it's the exact same table, but the pockets are just made a bit different to the one that he's got in, in Scotland. But I've played a couple of times on it. Um, didn't go too well, to be fair. <laughs> Training wheels on a bike and yeah, all that kind of um, stuff, mate. But it's one of them, hopefully. I've put the packs in this week on the Supremes, but I'll have an hour before on the table. And hopefully, I can adjust accordingly. Yeah. You've been, you've been playing pool for a number of years anyway, do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? I can imagine that playing on different tables is something you become used to as you play yeah. different tournaments around the country. And yeah, I mean, to be fair, some players, like the, the top level players, some of them, they can just play on a, go on to go to them, they can just adjust immediately, they know, the pace of their table, whereas I'm not on that level, do you know what I mean? I can't adjust straight away, it normally takes me a while, but hopefully, sometimes if you just get a couple of frames in your belt and you, you play a couple of good suppose if your attitude is decent in the actual match environment, you can play anywhere in the world. If, yeah, if definitely. Especially, I think most of it's just confidence, mate. Once you're feeling good and your arms get in, look, most of the time the ball's at the heart of the bag. Yeah. But when you're not, it just seems like you're shooting into um, just the bag just gets well, more the, the game we saw you against Wayne Mays, look, there, was, there was a point where you, 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 you won 15 games in a row, do you know what I mean? And it was flying and, and it looked as if you weren't going to miss a pot. Yeah, yeah. So I suppose that's the, the level that you're looking for tomorrow. And Yeah, just, just to, to be fair, I guess, well, I just kept it solid. I know my ability. I know I'm not one of the, the best players around, but I know my level, so I know when to go normally and, and when not to, and it's worked well so far. Um, but yeah, it's just good back to be playing, mate, again, obviously. I had played not till I was 18 yep. for England that when I was younger, and then seven years not playing, just because I just sort of fell out of love with the game. Since I had my daughter, 
wanted to do something that could bring me sort of back into pool in the last couple of years. It's something I'm not going out getting steam in, just sort of, you know I mean, having a few couple of beers with the lads. And I think that's, that's why the culture of these kind of places is, is thriving at the moment. Yeah. And one of the reasons that I kind of fell in love with the first time I came down to one of your money yeah, matches yeah. is seeing all of the people around the table just just there on a local level just to support somebody yeah. and having a laugh. And I bet midweek as well on a Wednesday or a Thursday night when you do come down here and just play a league game. Yeah. It's a nice little break away from your nine till five and yeah. and, and you get to see your mates every week. And mate, most like breaks a week, Bob. So when, when you're with the missus all week, mate, <laughs> sometimes you can get a bit stressed yeah. you know what I mean? when you've got a little one. And, and uh, sometimes it's just nice to get out. If I played every day and put the hours and I could potentially get to that point where you go on to like, the ultimate pool scene or whatever, whereas I, I haven't really got enough time to play. I'm playing, you know, once, yeah. twice a week. Yeah. And for me, mate, it's just about the main, just making a bit of money and just for the laugh as well, like yeah. us boys all going away to have been 15 of us. It's going to be a great weekend and hopefully we can all win a bit of money to pay for our weekend yeah. as well. Do you yeah, know? yeah. A couple of lads who obviously can't come, they're saying to me that they're going to be sat, obviously they've got a few, a couple of them have got bets on me, a few hundred quid in that, they yeah. said. I'm going to be sat at home, Ranger Celtic on one telly, you on the other, yeah. Liverpool Everton on the other. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want? This is it. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? This is your pay per view right here. You do a live stream as well? Yeah, so it'll be streamed. I'll put it on my obviously on my Facebook stream, Facebook page before. Yeah. Um, Have you had much contact with Chris in the build up? Has, yeah, has there been uh, any. No, nah, nothing like that to be fair. He's nah. good lad. They're all good lads, those boys. I think that's um, why the return leg was so quickly arranged, oh, wasn't it? Yeah. It's because they were brilliant when they came down this way in terms of. The camaraderie was, it never went over a certain level. Do you know what I mean? It yeah, was yeah. it was uh, all in good nature. Like To be fair, obviously, there was only four of them there, weren't there? So they seemed all good lads, but <laughs> you, don't know, you don't know what the rest of the other people, and it can get a bit a bit tasty sometimes, can't yeah. it? <laughs> but um, yeah. we'll see, mate. Hopefully, the, cr the crowd will be, um, yeah. do you know what I mean? They'll be supportive and they won't sort of, Scream when you're down on the shots. This and is it. Try and you got 15 of your boys backing you in yeah, the yeah. flesh. Best of luck to you, Kurt yeah. Morgan. Thank you, bro. Let's have a cracking weekend, yeah, mate, because <laughs> wouldn't lose or draw. I know we're here to bring home the bacon, but these are the moments that you live for, even yeah. on this kind of level, you know what I mean? 100%, mate. Is... Bustle for it. So we're here with Chris Ross. Uh, he's a uh, is this your local pool hall? Yeah, Grampian Hotel, Keith. Yeah. Uh, and this is where you've learned from from a young age how to. Oh no no no! This no. was not. This was only five tables a couple of years back. Really? So you went to go way back. My dad was you owned a hotel when I was three or four. Yeah. So I kind of set the bar stools up. Away you went when you were like yeah, four yeah, or five. Yeah, yeah. Then, pushing them that, in with your hands and everything. I, I, know, I never so played then. pool until like. Properly, seriously, until I was about mid twenties. Is that how you occupy a lot of your time outside of work now? Is it pool and golf? It, yeah, and yeah. golf as well. Pool, pool just kind of started yeah. now, and golf in the summer. Yeah, so we're, we're about ten minutes away from the rematch so of I'm Chris right. Ross and Kurt Morgan. Absolutely. How's your preparation been for, for decent? Yeah. Yeah. As I said, played golf right up until about second week in August, yeah. and then kind of like put them in the shed, 
yeah. got the queue out, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's um, it. I've had a couple it's more of, of a winter sport being inside yeah, and everything else. You know, I, I'm, yeah. I'm there all round player all year, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the, the date suited me because I, th I knew that this, the clubs would kind of be going in the shed yeah. and a couple of events like last weekend was up at the Highland Pool Tour, okay. which is kind of a decent event up kind of in around the Highlands. Yes. Um, so got which the quarterfinal of that. Far, just start around this side of Scotland. So we're, so we're the, the furthest south that okay. qualifies for it. Okay. So Keith's basically and then north. Yeah. And you go to Or Orkney, Shetland, places yeah. like that, Ken. So um, it's a well-run event. I yeah. got the quarter-final last weekend. So, Did you? Um, and I've had some really good practice matches and uh, other matches and yeah. to get ready for it. Like. Yeah, 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 straight up. And straight obviously up. feeling good about the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, feeling and decent. Yeah. Um, I mean, when, Kurt, when we played down the road, yeah. I got off to a terrible start. I don't know if you, yeah. you knew, like, I, I got a kick in the first frame and then missed an missed a easy block in the second frame. And then before I knew it, I was like seven frames behind. Yeah. And a couple of times I thought I was almost back into the match and then yeah. kind of Kurt just kind of pulled away. Just kept so, yeah, so, to pull away. But it was one of them where Kurt was kind of obliging and he says, look, if I beat you with the start that I'm giving away, he'll acknowledge it and kind of return it you know and that's why we're starting well, well, today he's starting on minus two and, and yeah. everything else which so is which has been really fair it's set up to be an absolutely fantastic I hope afternoon it's good, I, hope it's good, I hope it's a good good day like yeah i hope the pool's good 15 of us I hope the cracks good fair few of you lot ah, do you it. know what i mean and it was nice to see you lot make the effort to come down to derby so What's for us it? to be I able mean, to return I, I, the favor i still don't really know how it turned about i mean i think yeah. it was one of my mates that got a huddle one of your mates yeah, and then kind of just all of a sudden, social media all of a sudden something. we're in Derby <laughs> <laughs> so hey, I and four go. months later all of a sudden we're in we Aberdeen are. as well yeah. absolute best of luck Cheers, to you mate, mate. Okay, and uh, let's have a fantastic uh, afternoon I hope your mates yeah, a good fantastic. day fantastic okay, we've got about five minutes before you step up to the pool table how are you feeling? to be fair mate I feel quite good now yeah the Rams are in the tunnel mate yeah I'm excited mate do yeah. you know what I was a little bit um, obviously this morning got a glass enough, uh, last night yeah, there was a there was a slight incident where uh, a random bloke decided to chuck a bottle around your head. Yeah, but I'm still here flying. Out of all 15 people that could have got glassed, it just had to be you. Yeah, we're but you're better now. now. You're better now. Yeah, of course we're getting a win, mate. Do not sweat that one little bit. You're starting on minus two, so you got to get to 23. Big start. Right. Prediction. What time do you get to 23? Um, I'm going to say nine. No, sorry, eight. Eight fifty. Eight fifty. You heard it here first, sports fans. 21-17 came all. There we are. Yes, I. Up the Rams. Up the Rams. <laughs>
Sitting over the middle bag, so now he's digging down on it. If you get the end off, <laughs> but again, me don't look simple. Lodge, Aaron Lodge has just given me his card here. He's doing a wee live documentary of the trip up the road to see the boys and play some pool. It says, Love many, trust few, always paddle your own canoe. It's Aaron Bodge. Breaking to win the contest. That's a cracking break by Cup though. He's got one of each, I think, down. One, two, three. Twenty twelve at one point. It's finished twenty one nineteen to Kurt Morgan. I think it was all in the same it was all thinking the same thing at one point. Is he gonna get over the line? Yeah. You know, and it, it got to that stage, it got to squeaky bum time, I'm afraid. And uh, it, 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 it got there and, yeah. he's, and, yeah. he, and he's done it. Yeah. You know, it, I think the lad got into a rhythm and he started playing his game a bit more tactical, he changed his style of play. And fair play to the lad, you know, he did he did well. He really know? he really dug in in that yeah, last he did. I think he won six frames in a row to bring it back yeah. to twenty eighteen and then it becomes a snooker game, not a pool game yeah. at certain points and Yeah, that's right. And and, and, I, and I think to myself as well, did he have anything to lose at, at that stage? Yeah. I think he he just went for it and Curtis I think maybe Curtis got to say thought, I've won it. Yeah. I've won it already. Yeah. But he hadn't. And that isn't an ego thing, it was just he was that many frames in front. Yeah, correct, yeah, that's that right. Yeah. By Science, he was going to win yeah. one of maybe five, and that would take him over the line at 21 16 or whatever. But it gets to 2018, oh. then it goes to 2019. But he came good in the end, yes, he did indeed. You know, and he's made a fair few people happy at the end of the day. Yeah, he's you know, he's made, made people a few quid, yeah. you know, well, like, whether it's the people that are here or the people that have been watching it on the live stream at home. I think this is. This is one of his best wins of playing yeah. a money match like yeah. this. Yeah, very tense at the end, honestly. <laughs> to be fair, 
very, very tense. I mean, and, and people who are watching online and whatever, I don't know how many are watching, I don't know, but it was very, very good and I enjoyed it. You know, yeah. we've had a great we've had a great time here. We've had a, Fantastic. And we've been made really welcome at this place, you know, at Keith. You know, we've been really, really welcome. The, so. This isn't the first time that we've played each other. They they made the effort to come down to Derby for Correct. the first game yeah. and and so we tried to repay the favour and, and we've come back up here and they've put on an absolute brilliant yeah. venue. Yeah. Are you going to be celebrating this evening? I'll be going to sleep shortly. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, be, we'll be going out for a few and uh, enjoying yourself. So How proud are you? Very proud. I mean, he always, he always makes me proud. He does well. At the end of the day, you can only do what you can do, can't you, at the end of the day? I mean, he proved he got so far ahead. He may have got a bit lapsadaisical, but at the end of the day, he's come good. He's created a good atmosphere inside there with the, the Scottish people, the English people, you know, we've all had a good time, can't ask for any more than what we've had, no. and it's been a great day. It's been loud and proud from it's both just, sides. Yeah. And, and, and to top it off, you know, there was a few obstacles what we, you know, occurred last, you know, last yeah. night, you know, with one thing and another, but it's come good in the end, you know, and it, everything's come good, so I'm pleased, yeah. I'm really pleased, I'm really proud of it, so it's done really well. It's been an absolute pleasure, yeah. Darren. Thank all you for talking yeah, to us. Yeah, no problem, thank and, you very uh, much. The aftermath of, of what has been a mammoth of a game. It was 2012, about an hour ago. It then got to 2019. You dug in, started playing some amazing ball. Too late. Too late. Too late. To be fair to Kurt, I just, just spoke to him. I'm glad he took it a finish and I didn't fuck up because, yeah, I was playing well and I was getting back into it. And I never showed any emotion until I cleared up for 2018. And that was the time when I, when I crossed double that one, came back down, perfect. That was the I first thought, time we saw you really that was the first sharp. Time because I didn't feel as though I deserved to show any emotion because I was getting thumped and Kurt was a better player. He was still the better player on the whole. I lost the match in the middle, you know, at the start in the middle. So. Absolutely, we're having a drink just now, and that's what it's all about. Isn't it? Cheers up, boys. I'm going to have to grab mine as well. Hey, to what has been a fantastic spectacle for everybody involved. An absolute pleasure. And all I can say to you, as watching it as a neutral, just the way you dug in shows that you, you, you really care about what is going to. on. You've got to, because there's people with their hard earned money on you. And it, all I said to myself, right, I, I did say to myself, I'm beat. But I said to myself, just play the right shot and you never fucking know. And Kurt went for a couple to get that train. And then when I went 24 in, I thought, right, well, just properly dig in because, okay, you're still thinking one in seven, he's going to get it. But you never really know until that. And momentum's a huge thing. And I had it right until he took a really good finish. And to be fair, um, when I played that safety shot up the, up the table, I was happy with that. And he's seen a shot, it was a shot to nothing. Yeah, he got the knock off and came out, but he still had to play two really good shots to get onto that block, you know what I mean? So Chris had me under the ropes, mate, at the end. I thought I'd lost that game. I think he, he, if it's gone to 2020, who knows what would have oh, happened Chris in that situation. 100%, 100%, it was his break and he just took out some great mate. You did that double, you landed perfect and he, he put me on the ropes. I was so nervous at the end. That, I've never been that nervous in a game of football. It was a good spectacle at the end. Yeah, it was. I'm glad I beat it. I'm glad I beat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to both? celebrate commiserate i mean it doesn't i know it is a loss but at the same time like you must be very fucking proud of yourself and, and the day that's been put on and yeah. i've been in sport all my life you know i won trophies as a five-year-old at football and um, the first thing i done was give him a hug because you've got to be gracious in defeat if you're not going to be gracious in defeat then you shouldn't be doing playing sport you know what i mean so that, that like anthony joshua you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, i fucking hate that no. <laughs> Kurt, how are you going to be celebrating tonight? No, I'm going to bed. Yeah. I've, got, I've got a headache. <laughs> it's funny because his dad said exactly the same thing in his interview as well. It's been an absolute pleasure. Pleasure. Boys, pleasure, bro. I'm hoping this is the start of something really fucking cool between the people that, that live in this part of the world and the people that live in our part of the world. You never know, I mean... There's no, there's no reason for me to play Kurt again. He's one fair and square, two nil. Uh, if, if it had been one all, we might have met up and, and done the trilogy. Newcastle or somewhere like that. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Neutral, no, neutral ground. I'll be there. Oh, yeah, that's it. I promise you. you right get, on the border. You get a money Adrian's game. Wall's got you a pool mate, table if, somewhere. If you had a money getting against someone in my club, I'm gonna, I'd still be backing you, mate. I'm going to hey. say see you later to money pool for a while. Because mate, I'll find you a good game. <laughs> yeah. 
And this is what it's all about, guys. Yeah, just meeting new people now, eh? Yeah. It's good crack. Pick up yourselves, boys. Right, cheers, mate. There we are. Several days later. We're just going to steal two minutes of your time in the build-up to the Derbyshire Super Cup final. I don't know too much about it. Just talk to us about how you've got to this point right now. Yeah, basically, um, six leagues, top three of each league, go through to the Super Cup. And what does lag or toss mean? Uh, toss a coin. Yeah. Uh, lag. You mean to put the ball up and down the table and get close to the cushion. Oh. So. Which one would you have gone for if, if you were doing first, it? If I was playing, I'd lag. But and hopefully we can get the win because we've been mates for years and we've got to the final. No one expected it. So how many's in the how many's in the team? You're all seven, cue ball lads, aren't you? Seven, eight of us. Yeah. In the team. Has it been a good road to the final? Yeah. We've not. We've only lost one frame each way, mate. Have you actually? Yeah. I'm oh, well, done yeah. for it then, son. Easy money, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Still recording. I've been dropped, aren't I? I've been out. My dad's come out to watch hey, me, and yeah, I've got yeah. a bib on. <laughs> yeah, I've, got, I've got a bib on. Yeah, uh, no wonder he's yeah. sat over there. Yeah. Oh. T TK and TKO. Oh, yeah. He knows. He knows. Right, anyway, on that note, I've got a pay for me beer. Right. And if they win the Super Cup, just know Owen Keane was an unused sub. Uh, he still has the chance, if called upon very late, that Owen Keane could end up in the double. It's a pity Low down and dirty shame Lord, it's a pity Low down and dirty shame Tell me how can a poor man make it I say when money is the name of the game I used to have the best credit Every place in town I signed my name No money down And on Buster needs some Now my name won't even buy me Peace of bubble gum It's a pity Low down and dirty shame Tell me how can a poor man make it I said when money is the name of the game Look out, Lee
<laughs> Quick one. How does it feel to see someone in the Derby Club? Fantastic. Hey! Yes, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> after my frame when we were 2 1 down, I, I felt really disappointed. And I thought I'd let the team down, but Kurt Arlo, Kurt Arlo brought us back from the death. And he gave us a chance, he gave us a chance. And then that made it 3 2. Kurt and Luke took an unbelievable dish out. And then, and then the break dish for the win. Jail. I know we Keane. Keen. It was it was something like after they got the first ball, all I was scared about, we, we counted the balls up and we know Owen. <laughs> we know Owen had the chance to decel on the last the last ball. But he fucking he plumbed it, he plumbed it. And once we knew that, we knew Jay was never missing the cut. So, Keno, full credit to the boys. How does it full feel? Full credit to the boys. You've won, you've won so many major honours at football under 15s. How does this compare? <laughs> Done many drugs in my lifetime. Oh, <laughs> Why have you just lowered the tone? <laughs> this is the most euphoric <laughs> I've never felt. Quite like it. Big shout! I'll tell you what. <laughs> Explain to the nation what a breaking dish is. What the is JL do? There you go, bro. <laughs> Tell you what, I know you lost that game to make it yeah, from yeah, 2 yeah. 1 to 3 1. Yeah, yeah. However, it was one of the loveliest blacks that I've seen, yeah, apart yeah. from the fact the white just seemed to drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was painful. It was painful. So, yeah. Which is why I put it on social media, yeah, just yeah, in the hope yeah, you yeah. get a few likes. There's the highs and the lows, and it was a low, but then we finished with a high, so you but can't it's moan. Come from 3 1 down to win 4 3 to win the Derby Pool Cup, Super Cup. Unbelievable. This is what this is what brings us together. Can I have my shot, please? Oh, no. <laughs> Can I have my shot? Yeah, on camera. I'll have my yes. shot on camera. We're not like all these pool players who come out, who trying to win everything. I've got one. <laughs> We've been mates for years. We've gone up from the oh, bottom no. league. Captain's here as well. Gone, you, gone up. Captain. Luke, oh, we've gone up from the bottom league every year. And it means more when you're a bunch of mates, not some people who worship pool. We're just a bunch of lads who, yeah, fair enough, a couple of us play a decent level. But, and we've, we've won the Super Cup. What have you got to say for yourself, Luke? We've, we've, we've sort of fell Luke, together. We're, we're a bunch of young lads, we're only going to get better. Champions of Derby. We couldn't be prouder of the lads. What a um, comeback, mate. Of everyone, yeah. What a comeback. You, you say 3-1 down. We've got to win the next three. It's gone, usually, so. Show your spirit. Can't, can't, can't be proud of the lads. Determination, but whatever yeah. you want. It's anyway, I'm going to go and get Bounce back ability. Eight. Like in terms of like the average order. age of teams that play all regularly like this at a half decent level, yeah. like you're youngsters really, aren't they? Like, I, I, like I, I the team you played tonight, probably, like, probably average 45 or so. Yeah, we're, I'd, I'd say we're the youngest. We're, we're, average, in the we're average of 27.5. 27.5. Yeah. Yeah. And do you know what I mean? We've just come out for the crack and we've we've got the job done, mate. Champions, Kurt, champions of Derby. You won your money match up in Aberdeen. You had all these lads coming to see you. This means more. It does, do you know, because you're playing for your mates. Honestly, I felt more nervous tonight than I did play my money game just because it means it means more with the lads, do you know what I mean? How good does it feel? It feels absolutely great. And uh, the only person who's going to be upset tomorrow night is my missus. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you'd like to say that you might see in two I'm weeks' sorry, time? I'm sorry, but I've won the Super Cup. <laughs> Might be a little bit late. Not a money match, a one single frame. Yeah, it was a single frame on it. <laughs> Cut the long story short, we made a bet when we was out downtown. Um, basically, one frame against Luke. If I lose, I go and join their team. If I win, I can stay or make the choice to move over. The first game of pool that we saw yeah. before the, the Aberdeen trip even started, this was as we got down here, um, you were playing uh, a one yeah. single frame. Yeah, that's right. And then it went down to um, Black Death, won it? So it was literally, we was both on the black ball and I cocked it up and he, he won it. So yeah, you know, I stick to my word and I'm, I'm moving over. But my team don't know yet. He's looking at me like he's behind it. Uh, they don't, they don't know yet. I'm not, uh, I'm not proud he's of it. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to be part of a team of Derby Super Cup champions? I oh, mean, it's, it's, it's great. I, I love the atmosphere. Every time I come down and uh, come and watch these on, you 
you know, on the back perspective. It's, it, it's a nice atmosphere. I like it. It's nice. It is nice. I know we, we've done a, a few like little documentaries about different events around Derby, but this has personally been one of my favourites because I've followed it for a little while. And yeah. the respect that people have for each other is really you know, over the last from all probably, different ages as well, man. Over the last five years, Paul has took off massively. Um, it never used to be this big, and just over the last you know, five to seven years, it's just become um, such a... Whoa! It's a sacking. If all it's become crazy, it's um, yeah. like the money matches that people play, the, the friendships you meet, it, it's the people that you meet, it's great. I, I love it, I do. Yeah. I, I, every Thursday night, I look forward to coming down and playing pool with like all the guys, because it's just a laugh, isn't it? It's good, it's great. Big up yourself, Kieran. Awesome. Take it easy. Thank you. Right, you've won the Derby Super Cup, you were in the... The Derby Super Cup, yes, I, how are you, <laughs> It, it, it's my you was in the, the final frame, doubles, scotch doubles, so you play one shot each until you run out of luck uh -huh. and the opponent gets it. Yeah. How nice is it to break condition a game like that to win 4-3 after it had been so... Oh, it's, it's incredible to break condition. I didn't even realise we was on a break condition until we'd finished and Owen's like, oh, we're, we're break this in the final. I, was like, I didn't even realise, I, I was just in the moment to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, Owen good. says he remembers nothing but the last three shots of the frame. Yeah, I, all I remember, it, it was... The yellow at the top of the table, I thought if I can put that to the corner and I can come back and I can land Owen perfect on it, it can just screw it back and then we can take the bottom two balls yeah. and then we can, the rest is history. I just think, you know, I think it was meant to be. It was. Especially after... Um, it was poetic Kirk, how all the games seemed to go. Yeah, especially after Kurt got that bit of luck when he, um, like, he snookered the other guy and he stopped the up and down as well. So, yeah. And that was in the second game, and then it became 3-1, and then they had to win every single game to win it, and here we are, Super Cup champions. Yeah, Kurt called it, he said we win this game, he said we won it, so I'm buzzing. Top man. Yeah, well am hey. And uh, Aberdeen was fun as well. It was. Cue ball on Massive. Everywhere we go. Cue ball on Massive. Everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Hey, top stuff, mate. Yeah,